Hey everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here, and I want to show you my three sisters bed, although it's not the traditional corn and beans and squash, but it's close. In these peat pellets, I put in a corn seed or kernel, a bean, and then a cucumber because cucumbers have spines and the whole point of the three sisters beds, sorry about that, I thought was to get something prickly and spiny so it makes things difficult for the insects to climb on. Now that corn is kind of purplish so I'm going to have to... Um, refurbish it all this brown stuff out here is um just slug bait it's uh, an organic slug bait uh, there's there's a spider kind of curled up down there yet it doesn't look dead what is she doing I'm not gonna pick at her. I don't know what she's doing. Hope she's not laying eggs. I mean, I let her stay here. That should be enough. But anyway, that's what um, is going on. Now, the other day, the wind blew some of my corn over. Um, one or two of them are already standing up on their own again. The other ones, they're still kind of leaning over. But you can see that I've got them Kind of spread out so that um, some of the squash that are, is by itself is going to be visible. Those are gray squash that are kind of in the middle and over on the end. Last year I had tried to start a watermelon vine and it just wouldn't take. And this year I had like seven or eight little melons that just popped up and we had a watermelon that just kind of rotted there and all these seeds popped up from that melon and then out here i just put a few what they call salt and roast sunflowers out they're in peat pots um hopefully you know they're not gonna have the tops eaten off by snails hopefully that slug bait on the other side will take care of that jasper you want to say bye bye You're not going to say anything? You were just screaming a minute ago. Yeah, okay. Nobody wants to see you doing that, Jasper.